What's up everyone? Today with us we have an interesting keyboard. This is the K556RK by Red Dragon. And it's a keyboard made for gaming, and it has circular keycaps. Oh yeah, and it's only $64. This is a 100% keyboard, meaning it's got the full 104 keys, but it's definitely space conscious as the design takes up as little space as possible, with no palm rest or anything while still giving you every key you could need. The base is made completely out of metal, and the face has a slight brushed metal look to it. The base also has a nice chamfered edge to it, as do the keys, which I'm definitely digging. It gives them a really unique shine. Speaking of the keycaps, as you've noticed, they're circular with Red Dragon labeling them as vintage style. Straight off an old typewriter. As far as aesthetics go, I like them a lot. They have a very different and cool look to them, something spicy. But switching over to actual use, how is it? On average, I was actually getting almost or about the same words per minute as I do with my everyday keyboard. It's a bit harder at first, but you do get used to it over time. Something that's nice is the fact that, of course, the keycaps are swappable, but so are the switches. If you really wanted to, you could completely switch out all the keycaps and switches on this board. The keycaps are of pretty standard quality. They are completely flat, though, so there's no curvature to prevent finger slip while typing. This board is using generic brown switches. Think of, like, Cherry MX Browns, but if they were cheaper. And here's a sound test. For a keyboard at this price, it does sound good and it feels pretty nice as well. You still get some good clickiness without it being too obnoxious and compared to the actual browns that are on another keyboard I have, these are obviously not as high quality and I feel like they require a little more actuation force. Earlier I talked about how this keyboard is meant for gaming, and well it's not a gaming keyboard if it doesn't have RGB. The colors look nice, and there's a few different lighting modes you can switch between. You've got this circular cycling rainbow, back and forth scanning, a single solid color, waves, two things colliding and exploding, and the matrix. So you've got a decent amount of things to choose from, and you can change the color and brightness of each of them as well. On the top right of the keyboard, you have lights indicating whether or not you have the numbers lock, caps lock, and windows lock turned on. And if you want the keyboard a little more angled at you, then there are rubber legs that flip up on the back as well as the two other rubber pads to make sure this thing isn't doing any sliding while you're typing on it. This keyboard has full anti-ghosting and end key rollover and it's compatible with PC and Mac. Red Dragon doesn't say anything about it working on consoles though. Uh, I did plug it into my Xbox One and it worked perfectly. I'd like to assume that it also works on PlayStation consoles, but I don't have one to test it on so I can't say for sure. This is obviously a wired keyboard and the wire is non-removable. The wire comes with a velcro cable tie on it and it's a little over 6 feet long. In the end, the K556RK keyboard by Red Dragon is all around good for the price. I don't have any major gripes with this keyboard. The keycaps being circular is definitely the highlight of this thing. They look really interesting and are a nice change from the norm. They will take a little bit of getting used to and they are completely flat, but overall this keyboard is great for gaming on a budget. Thanks for watching, the link to this keyboard is in the description below as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.